Greetings everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me once again. Today I want us to discuss the basic soil components. Soil, air and water are the three major natural resources. So when it comes to soil, this is just the upper layer of the earth which supports mostly plant and animal life. So there are many functions of the soils in an ecosystem and I just want to mention a few of them. So firstly, soil provides support to plants. It also provides plants with um, food and that is nutrients and also provides plants with water which is mainly used for the process of photosynthesis. Um, soil also becomes a habitat for micro as well as macroorganisms which are found in the soil and some soil particles are used for commercial purposes so believe it or not um, glass is made from liquid sand now this is a type of soil of course so you can make a glass by heating ordinary sand until it melts and turn into liquid but now that is not the purpose of the lesson you can do more research on that if you want to learn more about how um, how glasses are made or what is the impact or the function of soil or function of sand into making a glass so soil also purifies water and also the soil can prevent um, it can prevent droughts by absorbing rainwater, storing this rainwater and also releasing it um, later. So before we talk about the soil components, I want us to first discuss the soil profiles. So basically, as you can see on the screen here, the soil profile is just the vertical section which depicts all the horizons and this will come this will start from the soil surface up until the bedrock or up until the parent rock material so yeah and now what are these soil horizons that we are talking about what are these layers so Soil, soil, soil horizons are basically the layers of the soil. As you can see on the screen, there are different layers here, there are different colors. So I want us to look now into these horizons individually, their characteristics. The first one that we're going to look at is the O horizon, organic. Now, how do we characterize this horizon? So firstly, this, this horizon will not be present in, in the cultivated fields. This is the most top layer of the soil, just lying on the surface. If you go out on an uncultivated field, this is the layer you're going to see. Right. Then the second one that I want us to look at is the A horizon. Now. This is the second layer. As you can see now, as we go down, the color changes. It gets lighter and lighter. So I want us to, to get into this. So what happens here in the, in the top soil? So this, this layer will be darker than the other layers which are found beneath it. So it will either be brown or black. Now this is because it's full of organic matter. And this is the most productive, productive layer. So as soon as we cultivate our land, preparing it for planting and, 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 and everything, it, we, we get to this layer and this is the most productive layer because this is where we plant so it will consist of rock material which has been um, physically and chemically broken down or weathered 
um, it will also be mixed with um, roots as well as organic materials so it's basically full of plant and animal life then we have the third one which is the bee horizon which is the subsoil and as you can see this one is a bit lighter than the topsoil now what is happening here this one this layer is lighter because it is low in organic matter as composed to the a horizon which is full of plant life as well as animal life there is less um, there is less organic matter in this in, in in this horizon then we have the parent material the c horizon now as you can hear it parent material so basically this is where the soil is formed so this is where the weathering of rocks the breaking down of, ro of rocks starts and then we have the last layer which is the R horizon which is the bedrock so now what happens here as you can see um, there is more um, solid patterns here the less spaces in between um, these these uh, particles so it's more of rocks this is just the bedrock so what happens here um, this is just a solid rocks it underlies the soil it's not um, broken down it's um, not consolidated so it's just simply um, just a bedrock before it can be broken down whether physically chemically or biologically so yeah that's basically it there's more when it comes to soil horizons but i just wanted us to touch briefly before we can talk about the soil components i wanted us to understand what um how basically the soil look looks like when you dig a hole this is what you're gonna find you will see different layers now if it's your first time you always wonder why uh why do we see layers in the soils? What do they mean and all those things? Then we come to the soil components. So basically um, the soil is composed of two components. There are two basic components. It's, group it, it's grouped into two kinds. We have the inorganic components of the soil now these are minerals it's water it's a so they basically form the largest part and these are components that can never decay they will never rot so that's why they are inorganic components then we also have organic components um, with the organic components basically is made up of decomposed leaves roots bones as well as animal droppings and this compo comprises of um, about five percent um, and so yeah basically soil comprises of five percent of organic matter so that's it from me thank you very much for listening until next time